Hello everybody and welcome to the show. I'm SM Sith Lord and this is Somnium Space dot uh, I'm sorry, twitch.tv slash Somnium Space or YouTube or Periscope, wherever you're watching. Um, this is the build stream. It's gonna be a two-hour build stream that I do every week right here. I do it in the easy mode builder here, where you're basically just playing with shapes. It's so easy, anybody can do it. I almost did that Geico commercial line. That's played out. That's way old. Okay, so um, what am I going to make today? I'm going to kind of do um, a free free build here. Where I, um, I'm just going to try to make something that looks awesome. And I looked at a bunch of voxel art as uh, inspiration for what I want to make. I like looking at voxel art for inspiration because much like a cartoon, which is another good place to look for um, level design inspiration, it tries to boil down elements to their very simple forms, so it, it keeps a lot of the, uh, the things that make their form identifiable uh, as a house or an office or a, a club or whatever you're making. So um, on my other monitor here that you guys can't see, I actually have a bunch of uh, voxel art that I searched up, but maybe I should just go over here and search some up over here on this monitor. All of this stuff is awesome. Um, I want to make, now I was thinking of maybe a street facade in the background, like brick wall, a brick building with some windows, some of the windows lights are on, and then a street in front of it, and then a stage. So like a, uh, an urban street uh, facade with a stage in front. That's one thing that I'm thinking. But I'm going to look through these, um, that's cool, these uh, voxel art things here and see if anything else comes to mind. Take me in a different direction. That's pretty cool. Okay, you know, I'm kind of liking this idea of the street. This, that's cool. I don't want to just make a little miniature town though. It's a lot of fun to make little miniature towns, but I want to make something human size, even if it's a facade, um, so you can stand in front of it at least and interact on regular human size scale. So how about if I do, Ooh, this is cool. That's really cool. Open image. I'm going to refine my search term. Hey, it's Bender. Refine my search terms here. Wait a second, I want to make Bender. <laughs> now that I've seen Bender in voxel form, I could make Bender. Maybe I'll, I'll add Bender somewhere. Um, I'm going to search for voxel art. I wonder what happens if you search for voxel street art. Because street art usually means something different. I wonder if anybody's doing street art in voxels. That's like some meta street art. Polygon art street. That's pretty cool, but that's more of a miniature building. Shows a little bit of the street thing there. I do want to have a street in mind. That's really cool. Isometric camera. Okay, there we go. Wow, this is making me think maybe I should take this facade to a whole new level. Nah. Okay, so this is the kind of uh, urban environment I'm looking for. Um, maybe I'll add Bender to it somewhere. But I'm going to put a street to it. I'm going to have a brick wall and some stuff like that. So I might start with the brick wall. Hello, welcome YouTube. You're tuning in from Vietnam. Wow, that's a long ways away. Welcome to the show. Well, it's a long ways away from where I am, and it is morning time from where I am. I'm in Southern California, but there is a big international uh, community around Somnium Space here. So uh, it's nighttime for a lot of people. I'm not sure what time it is over in Vietnam, but it's probably not nine in the morning. Uh, okay, so 
Let's get to it. I need to find this reference picture. Okay, now I'm gonna start building right here and we're gonna have a floor. So uh, I'm gonna build stuff with mostly shapes. I like to start with the foundation of what I'm building. Um, so I'm gonna make a big old block here. And I, I, I say it's uh, really easy to build here. This is easy mode builder because it reminds me of when I was a kid. I loved playing with blocks, any kind of block, Legos, wooden blocks, didn't matter. Um, but these blocks, I, I could build a lot of stuff when I was a kid with blocks, but these blocks I can actually resize and recolor and do all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm taking the skills that I learned as a small child and uh, adapting them to make <laughs> this, uh, this scene that I have in mind here. Let's, let's see if I'm successful. Uh, now, I was going to have a street going by, but maybe I want a, a basketball court. Like Charles Barkley's Shut Up and Jam. Okay, either way, I'll just leave this here and I'll make it kind of blacktop color. Um, behind that, I want uh, a chain link fence would be nice, but a brick wall would do also. So I'm gonna put another block down there and throw a brick wall texture onto it. And then I'm not stuck with this little block. I could scale it up nice and large, make it thinner like a wall. And have the first segment of my building coming in here. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I need to make sure that the scale of this is human size. So to do that, I'm going to put some props into it. It's midnight in Vietnam. Well, thanks for staying up. Um, I'm going to put a couch and a bed into it. How much you know about Furniture. Implementation. Beds. Because uh, that will give me good relative scale of what a human will be. Couch and a bed and a door. Doors are great for making sure that you're building things at proper scale. Because doors, people that are, you know, they could be over six foot. Again, I'm using Imperial because of where I'm at. <laughs> they could be over six foot. Seven foot guy will have to duck to go under a door. So you know that it's around between six feet and seven feet. And um, basketball court is ten feet. So I can guess how high to put my basketball court based only on the height of a door. And it'll be pretty accurate. Okay, over here we want a concrete sidewalk. And I want the sidewalk to be super cool. Okay, maybe I won't do the details of the sidewalk just yet. Let's take another look at this wall. This wall is huge. I've changed my mind. I don't want a huge giant brick wall yet. I want a smaller brick wall that's going to have some detail on it because I'm going for some detail. So let's scale this down and I'm going to make a segment here. I'm going to make some decor that I can copy pasta, copy paste multiple times and make it look cool because um, everybody loves copy paste. It lets you make lots of things out of a few things, as long as you do it modularly. So I'm going to play with some blocks here and try to make this a modular chunk of wall that I could reuse. No problem. Let's make it cool. Um, I think I want to cap the top off a little also. So to do that, instead of making a new block, I'm going to clone this block. That's another thing you can't do as a kid playing with blocks. You can't clone stuff. So hey, that's an advantage. I'll just put it right over here and apply that and apply that. Now it matches the other one and it's the same size. So it matches the texture of the, the thing next to it and it's the same size. 
Okay, we're so looking good. good. All right. Now this looks like something I can clone and use multiple times over. So this is my high detail wall, and I can actually let it change elevations, although I'm on a pretty nice flat parcel here, so I don't have to worry about climbing the elevation. As, like if I had a, a hillside uh, parcel or a lake front parcel there, you kind of have the beach that you could build on, with stilts and all that, but we don't need to worry about that, so our wall could be pretty straight. Although mine's not. <laughs> this segment seems to be a little bit higher, so let's multi-select those just by holding down control as I click on stuff, just like you do in Windows. Drag it down, and that looks pretty good. Um, we'll drag it over a bit more as we figure out what the rest of this thing's going to look like. Now, I want concrete, but I want this to be some high detail concrete. Concrete that looks so good you want to stand in front of it and take a screenshot. That kind of sidewalk. So I'm going to do a couple experiments here and see what makes sense and what doesn't. Let's make block. Actually, I want this block to be the same size as this block, so I'm going to clone that thing again, just like last time. But I'll paint it a little bit of a different color. Resize it. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's move it over here. Um, I want both a sidewalk and a curb if I can manage it. So let's try to manage that. Um, you can snap to a, a vertex by holding down the V button. And you see I'm snapping to vertex. Also, a trick that might be a little weird, in, in the virtual world here, anything that's uh, you know polygon based, like the stuff we're looking at here, if you put the camera, most stuff uh, behaves this way, if you put the camera like inside of the ground, it makes the ground invisible for you. So you're not just looking at grass. I'm actually able to get, you know, in the impossible under the ground view at this thing. So I can position it just like I need. Click over here. Thank you. All right, I'll put this over here. And I want the curb to be a slightly different color. Maybe a different texture, not that dark. Okay, and I want it to be worthwhile. So, I mean, that looks pretty good. It does. All right, now I have to ask myself if I'm overdoing it with this segment here. Oh, Oh man, if you think bots are a problem in chat rooms, just wait till they get a hold of your phone number. People keep saying there's a, uh, they're trying to offer me stuff in my car warranty, which I don't own. I don't have a car warranty. Where are these people from? It's bots, man. All right, so, barring that interruption from the bots calling my phone, um, I'm wondering if uh, I'm overdoing it with this curb. Maybe I am. So let's, let's do a little piece at a time here. I want a basketball court. Do I want a basketball court? I think that I do. Um, I want a chain link fence. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting stuck thinking of the background. Let's start thinking of the foreground for a minute. The stage. We want a stage. Stage is going to have speakers. Okay, let's make that. Now, the top of the stage can look like it's wood. Yeah. And in fact, it can be wood. Is this the right size for the stage? I think so. Let's pick it up some to make it really cool. All right, we're gonna clone this flat piece of wood. 
put another one just like it right underneath. But this one, the one underneath it, we're going to make that just a generic gray, a generic mid-tone gray. And here comes the trick. We're going to scale it up a little bit, just a little bit. So it's bigger than the one above it and actually scale it back some. So it's barely bigger than the one above it. Now we can, when we raise it up, you see how it kind of consumes the one above it. That's what we want. Um, but instead of raising it up, I'll extend this up. And now it looks like we have um, a nice 3D structure that has wood, uh, wood flooring on top of it. Okay, that's good. Now we want some uh, cool stuff underneath the platform. And yeah, we want some really cool stuff. All right, so let's look at the props that we have down here. We're going to look at the columns. Yes, columns. And we want this column, which is pretty modern. Doesn't look like the old Roman columns there. And Greek columns? Rome? I don't know. Maybe they both had columns. Um, we're going to shrink these down, but not that far. We're going to shrink them down and then sink them into the ground. So we get the most out of our object here. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to put a couple of these. I'll put a couple of these right now. So I'm going to hold down V and snap to the, uh, the vertex, like I mentioned earlier, just to get it on the same height here. And now since it's on the same height, I can just drag it around with the other handles. Put one over here. And I think uh, two more, and then we're going to have kind of a centerpiece. It's going to be um, a flag kind of thing draped from the top of the stage over the front of the stage. I don't need to finish positioning my little supports here first. Good. Thank you very much, virtual performing. Hey, that's what I'm doing. Well, my mouse cursor is like a virtual radio show host <laughs> along with that. Looks good. We'll move it over a little bit here. All right, so we have a nice little stage going on. We want a cool thing draped over the top and we'll, it'll probably have a logo on it. Is my stage tall enough? Hmm. Well, yeah, it's a good height. Let's do it. Let's click save. Stop. Click save often. Let's see if I can make a shape and drape it over. Maybe we're going to end up a little bit cyberpunkish neon at the end of this. Let's see? Now, I do not want this to be um, a hard 90 degree angle turn to when it goes down. So let me show you what I mean. There is going to be a portion that is down like this, but um, I want the seam between the top portion and this portion to be kind of be at an angle. So it looks like it's an actual cloth draped over it instead of a solid piece of stuff. So to do that, we're going to clone again. By the way, it's control D to clone. And then you just click where you want the thing to appear. Um, 
super handy, along with that control click thing to uh, multi-select. I'm actually doing a bit of a free build here. Um, I'm thinking uh, a basketball court or something like that, like an urban park with a, uh, a wall separating you from that human size element there and a facade of some buildings. So behind that wall there, I'm thinking of building some, uh, you know, building facades though, um, that have some windows with the lights on, some windows with the lights off, but the, the real point is standing on, in front of the stage. So there's a little bit of foreground, a little bit of background. Um, I'm doing a little bit of both right here. That wall is kind of the divider, but let's focus on the foreground a bit. And by the time I get to the background, there might be a lot more neon in this thing than I had in mind when it started. Because I do like neon. And it looks really good in the lighting, neon does. That's not it. I want it like this. There we go. Now we got, hey, that looks pretty good. That's our cloth draped over the edge. It only took a couple extra shapes and the cloth is gonna go down a lot. Not too far. Okay, there could be some kind of logo on that. Uh, we need the stairs leading up to it, but we need big old speakers. I love making speakers. I make a lot of speakers. Let me go over here and upload my speaker texture that I like to use. I probably use this texture more than any other. Make a lot of stages. Stages are cool. So let's make a speaker. I start off with the block that's just uh, like a, a nice gray, a dark gray color, which is going to be the box of the speaker. Very low detail the box of the speaker is, um, but I'll go ahead and size it to about the size that I think that a speaker should be. Now I clone it, put it right back in front of it, just like I was doing with the uh, brick wall earlier, but I'm going to apply my custom speaker texture to it. Now it looks really weird right now. We're going to fix that. We're going to move it in to the other block a bunch but if we just move it in you notice that it's kind of occupying the same space and gets weird well let's make it not weird we make it not weird by just scaling it down a little bit so it's a little bit smaller than its casing and it can physically fit inside of it and now we have our speaker i'm going to shrink it down some because it doesn't need to be all the way deep this is just the speaker face And we have a giant speaker. Um, it's not quite the aspect ratio I want, is it? That bottom thing is supposed to be round. The top one's not, but the bottom one is. And I, I think the aspect ratio is a little off. That's good. The casing, I didn't make dark enough, so I'm gonna make it a darker gray. That looks good. Now, since we have one of them, I can multi-select and make two of them, make sure it's the same height, and position it on the other side of the stage. And uh, I actually want a pile of speakers. One speaker is never enough. And I'm going to, um, you know, twist these a little bit so they're more naturally positioned in a moment. But first, I'm just going to get them generally where I want them. There we go. All right. I don't know why this makes me think of like a campaign stage. It's probably because of the flags that are draped. This parcel is parcel. Ah. What parcel is this? 3250, I believe. I'm not quite sure just yet.
Okay, let's do the little bit of twisting here. Not too much. Okay, this is making me think of uh, this purple in front of the stage makes me want to put a neon purple line through it. Let's do a couple things. This is a stage, let's put a microphone on it. We'll go to the media category and click the microphone icon. Put it right up here. And we'll get um, click save often and then I'm gonna go to the neon category and I'm gonna try to create a neon that's the exact same size as the stage but it will be a uh, kind of a bluish uh, I'm sorry purple thing pinkish purple So I have to make sure it's the right size in all three dimensions. So I have to move my camera around a little bit. And I'm going to shrink it down so it's barely big enough. In this direction? Oop, not quite. Okay, and then I can shrink it way down like that and go like that. But again, I want to perfectly size it. All right, now if the sun was down, that's when that's going to start shining there. And um, we got to hit this up with some lights. And it's going to start looking good now that I start adding lights to it. So let's go to lights. We're going to add a couple kinds of lights to it. One like this, but is mostly white, but has a little bit of the color going on with it. And then, so that gives uh, produces the um, actual light. And then we want kind of like a spotlight beam thing going on here. But I have to figure out the best way to, to do this. Do we want a spotlight above or do we want something on the side that points to it? We'll see. I'll have to make some kind of support that holds this spotlight if this is where it ends up at. But that's the idea. We need stairs leading up to this. It's not a big deal. I think we want some kind of um, backdrop to this stage. Actually, if I make a really cool city behind it, that would be the backdrop. Do I want to put that pressure on me to make a really cool thing to see behind the stage? Well, it's pretty important. Hmm. I don't know yet.
Well, that makes those things underneath look a lot cooler now, doesn't it? Maybe we need some of that happening. That's pretty cool. Let's go with that a little bit further. I'm gonna clone this wood and give it a regular generic gray texture. A little bit darker gray than that. Shrink it down and put it underneath the uh, supports. Let's see how that looks. And maybe I'll want to do, oh, I'm gonna have to shrink it down even more because these supports are actually inset. That's okay. Start off with this here. Is that going to be enough? No, I need to add more detail if I'm going to put a whole light down there. What else could I do down there? Actually, that might be that might be pretty good. Um, clone this. And clone these to the rear. But we want them to be the same height, so I'm going to put them here and snap them to the vertex. Yeah. Do you see the rear ones? You might. I'll take them out if uh, I need to start optimizing on parcel credits, but they probably should be there. Okay, uh, stairs leading up to it. Let's do it. How do you make stairs? This is how you make stairs. Easy peasy. First, you go to the shapes. Well, first you need a door, so you know human size. It's really important to make everything human size. Then you get, um, a block, you put it in front of the door and you kind of gauge how wide you want your steps to be based on the size of a door. How, how much of a space do people need to walk through? So uh, I think this will be good. It's about 2.5 times the, or maybe two times the door width. Now let's find a proper elevation there. Okay, now here's the trick. You can, all over the place, Brazil, Cool, welcome to the stream. Um, when you create uh, stairs, you don't want to make them too steep. So how do you know what's too steep versus not too steep? Well, if you, um, if you, about the steepest incline that you can walk up comfortably, and sometimes, or usually, is if you um, do two clicks like that. So that's a pretty steep angle. And if I put it up over at this patio thing, you can tell that, yeah, that's pretty steep. Now, you put the um, the slope there, then you build the steps so it lines up to the slope. So I'm gonna make this like pink so we can see what's going on here. And we're gonna make these steps line up to that slope so that we know the, uh, our stairs will not be too steep. So let's make our first step. That will be our first step. You have to be careful with the uh, size, like the, the height of each step. But after that, you just put them here, line them up, and you're good to go. If that's another bot calling my phone. Ah.
Okay, we're back. It was more spam, of course. All right, so we have our steps now. They look good. We don't really need the door, but we have our steps. Um, is this enough steps? Let me make sure. Yeah, that actually is enough. We're gonna rotate them, I think. <gasps> We're not gonna rotate them. Let's be super interesting and not rotate them. Yeah, that way they stay where they're at. You can walk straight up, and this will be bigger. Okay. I don't know if that's super interesting, but it's slightly interesting. Okay, now I'm going to make these steps... Are they fine, or should I adjust them more? They may be fine. I'm just thinking, like, do I want to make them thin? I, I, I might. I do. Okay, let's make these steps thin. How do we do that? Well, we're going to be redefining what it means to be a step. Being a step is going to be a thin thing. It's not quite as long. That's a step. Cloned it, snapping it to Vertex, and deleting the big old one. Um, this could also be not as big. And I think that I want this platform to match the color of the platform next to it there. And I guess I even want it to touch. Good, good. Our struggle as artists isn't about appeasing the crowd. Rather, it's about tending to the broken parts inside of ourselves. We create things as Okay, let's make this thing over here look like it has some support to it. Because we made it real thin, that's cool, but now we need some support onto it. Some kind of metalish supports maybe a slightly different gray color rather it is a state of mind which you constantly strive toward this all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static but fluid like water be like water Hey, there we go. Then down here, I'll just throw one of these. How about some rails? We can go over to the props and grab futuristic looking rails.
Okay, we need more lighting happening. More cool stuff. Oh, I'd still want to make Bender. <laughs> How are we doing on time? We're 42 minutes in. My inspiration pictures here. I mean, this looks pretty good here. I might be able to make something similar to this for the background. But I don't know about that idea. Let's just keep focusing on the stage. I like neons. What can we do with neons here? Thinking about some abstract little glowing shapes here. That's what I'm playing around with. Dog is barking a bit. Well, that's cool. That's something. I'm gonna have to box it up on the bottom if I roll with that, and I think that I might. But then I also need some kind of stage structure spanning across this thing to be holding up that light and maybe it'll be holding up some more lights too maybe it'll hold up a light over here Trying to put it back on the same pink as the other one. I don't even know if this is where I want this light. Okay, this stage is looking cool. And look how neat the shadows look when there is a light over here. I don't know about the spotlight. Um, let's keep this stage going. Maybe I'm going to ditch the whole, uh, you know, urban park thing. Might ditch that and just go with something real cool. What will it be? I don't know. 
Now here's what I'm thinking. I want something light, possibly glowing like a neon behind the speakers because the speakers are disappearing. I can't see the speakers. They look like globs of shadow there. But if there were something like a neon behind it, then, or an image actually, then you would be able to see it. Okay, maybe I can combine brick wall and neons. Maybe I can combine those with something I find on Giphy. Like neon graf... I always mess up this word. Graffiti? I, I missed an F or a T somewhere. <laughs> That's pretty literally what I searched for right there, isn't it? Maybe GIFs aren't what I should be looking for. Maybe just regular images. Hmm. So if I make a big old cool graffiti wall, then the brick wall in the background could be cool. Actually, the brick wall looks pretty nice in this lighting. Hmm. Hey, hey, this is working because now I can see the speakers. Okay, I just need to bring this brick wall a little closer. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing the park anymore. I think I'm changing plans here and just going heavy on the stage. Lighting looks cool there. It's not exactly clear whether they even truly exist or could be shown to in the physical universe. If they do, if one day physics finds a use for them, that's great. But if not, that's great too. I don't know if I can get the look I'm going for with just this one light. I might need multiple lights here. A tiny thing, a septillion times smaller than the tiny planet it lives on. Discovered something true. I don't even need this light. But I definitely need an overbright, heavy one that's pink against that wall, because I think the pink light is what makes that wall look good. Or is it the blue light? No, the blue light kind of disappears. It's the pink light. I don't know, I'm losing something here. I think I was going too pink. <laughs> okay, so we got a brick wall, we got a stage. That's a good start.
We need um, some more spectacular stuff in here for sure. Oh, wait a second. Let's do a structure. We could do a structure that contains the crowd. Can we do a structure that contains the crowd? Well, let's see. Let's uh, experiment with some darker colored supports here. Maybe I'll do one more. Hey, that'll make it flat. Okay. That could be pretty cool. I want to give it some glass and hopefully this light reaches the glass. And if this light reaches the glass, then this thing might work out. Ooh, maybe I actually do want it to be like that. Not quite symmetrical. Got to move this one over a little bit more to make it closer to symmetrical. Okay, let's try this glass. That is in the glass tab, glass category. We're gonna put it here, but uh, it's kind of hard to see. So let's make it very low opacity or high opacity, I guess, <laughs> because one, I always forget, does one mean invisible or does one mean fully transparent? I, it doesn't matter. This setting over here on the right hand side, and then we'll make it that color glass position it where we want it and see how it looks in the lighting after I get it where I want it. Hey, not bad, kind of pink. the camera inside of that pillar for a moment to do that looking good I think I'm gonna take this all the way up all the way up that's a song nothing could stop me I'm all the way up
Wow, it snapped right to the place I needed it to right away. Cool. And one more. too long there we go looking good you know the couches might remain i don't know why but in my head the sky stage um it's just what i have in my head for the name of this place sky i guess because of the blue glass that you can see through and you can see the sky okay at night time it's still kind of blue okay um there's a sky like let's make it the sky lounge in front of the sky stage and uh we need some chairs and kind of like an outdoor club, I guess. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, definitely like how the stage is looking, though. Let me see here. So, normally where I would put a bunch of, you know, bleachers, I'm going to be putting luxury couches. Luxury couches. Not regular couches. They're luxury by, you can tell by the uh, pink light that's hitting them. Regular couches, they don't look like that. Regular couches don't have cool lighting. Okay, now that's pretty good. Uh, maybe this is too big of an area in between. Now, if I could pull this off, what do I got? I got about one hour to make this stage into something. Now, I'm not going to do the brick wall thing in the back. So I'm actually going to delete these cool modular things here. I'm taking this a different direction. This is, there's no bed. This is an outdoor venue. Okay. I need more. I need additional stages on the side. Is that what I need? I need more couches. That would make it the Sky Lounge in multiple ways. If it was lifted up. Because then it's up in the sky also. Now I kind of just want to make ridiculous stairs. Not an elevator, not a ramp, but like switchback stairs to emphasize the fact that you're going up to the Sky Lounge. Um, okay, well, I, I, I kind of like the direction this is going. It goes with the whole theme of the sky, which I don't know why is the theme, but it just is what popped into my head. So let's find some more columns. make these things more realistic, I'm going to give them concrete foundations 
here. Whoa! So close to being perfect, by chance. Okay, now the rest of these should be pretty straightforward. Okay, how, can, how ridiculous can I get with these stairs? I want to get pretty crazy. First, let's add this little neon here. Okay, stairs, huh? Stairs. This is gonna be a hell of a lot of stairs if I do stairs. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe ramps. Maybe ramps are what I should be thinking.
fresh. It's a great slogan. They managed to convince the entire continent, if not the globe, that eating a foot of bread was somehow good for them. How would these look as some type of weird wings? No, not just regular like that, but like that. Looks all right. Snap it right onto the other guy. Right there. Okay. Now to open them up. Perhaps two is enough. I believe that's 30 degrees. Yeah. Put a neon uh, line, pretty much, going up it to kind of attract people up the ramp. How do you do that? You put a line there. People love walking down lines. Columns. No, not columns. Handrails. How would these look up here?
I don't like the big intrusive thing there. Maybe if it was darker. Hmm. Maybe this thing isn't so bad. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so if we have this thing here. Maybe I could use this thing over here too, if it was bigger. put an emblem or something on these flags down here. That's what I'm thinking. Seeing the people in the crowd seems pretty important.
Okay. All right, I like how everything looks here. Now I'm just thinking uh, what else needs to be added to this? Hmm. Oh, ooh, hey, I just had a cool idea. How about giant screens? giant screen that's off. I don't know if that's going to be what I want to go for. Let me upload this texture. Shapes. Now, do I want the TVs down there for all the normie people, or up here so the important people can see them too? All the important people that are invited to the Sky Lounge. I like that! That way, the guy presenting can have things going on those big old screens pointed over at him. Plus, the overflow crowd down here can all see them too. And I think I want one of those on both sides, but let's make it look cool. make it the full size of the thing.
Okay. And on those big old screens will be things. world is ours. So I'm going to put a media in here for the GIF URL. I'll put that GIF. Cool. Work. We'll see if we can put it on the screen as a placeholder because I would imagine this is where the name of the person standing on the stage will be put before you have an event in here. So this is just a placeholder for now. None of that was the kind of stuff that I wanted. This might be pretty cool. That kind of looks cool on this screen because it's a, a, a transparent GIF. I don't know about making those spotlights look like they are attached to some kind of stage terrace or a stage strut. That uh, might be, maybe it'd be cool looking, I think. Maybe, let's try it out. Let's go to shapes. We've got 30 minutes here. We could do some details on a stage structure. All right, so we're gonna make it out of shapes. Let's do a good light color gray for everything and then we'll recolor as needed. This is gonna be our foundation. I'm gonna move it afterwards, but I'm gonna build it right here. Um, and then after the foundation, we're gonna have some poles.
future pants. They're pants we're going to wear tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that. Clicking real fast here, <laughs> box modeling. Well, I'm not exactly box modeling, but I'm primitive modeling here, like playing with blocks. Except for in this case, cylinders. And after I build this structure going across like that, I'll be able to attach stage lights to it realistically. That looks good and cheap. I might not even need to put the other support structures in there. That looks realistic enough. Oh, what the hell? Those weren't long enough? <sighs> I checked that. Oh, I did, but then I deleted things. I'm going to manually type in this number. So I copied uh, 9.56, and I'm just going to put it into this box for these guys. 
So they're all exactly the same length. All right. And this thing. It's got to get scaled down a little bit. All right. All right, save. Um, do I want to connect these? I don't think I need to connect them. They're fine. A little bit dangerous up here. Nobody fall off those edges, those ledges. All right, I think all that's left is putting some uh, trees around the bottom and leaving some parcel credits open, although I don't really need to leave parcel credits open. Hello, welcome to the stream, Hinya. Probably mispronounced that, but I did my best. <laughs> um, I could actually put a whole bunch of stuff in there and then when it comes time to come in and put media for an event, just remove some of the stuff. So I'll put all kinds of trees and maybe some gifts or something and um, instead of leaving empty parcel credits. Sure. Let's look at trees. Yeah, going to the daytime here. Doesn't look as spectacular in daytime, but it's a nighttime venue. These trees are pretty cool. If not a bit too orderly. To like that.
The gardener tries to keep them all the same size. But he's not perfect. Some of these trees are a little bit smaller than others. Okay. Um, are these sufficiently in the ground? They are. All the way around. I think that'll do it. Now, if you came in here and you just put some 50 parcel credit things in here, like um, a video stream, a web browser, you'll be able to do that without having to remove a lot of stuff. Didn't push this build to the max. Usually I push things all the way to the, what the parcel credits allow. However, didn't quite need to do that on this one. So maybe this would be a better build for a medium parcel than a large parcel. Uh, I did utilize some of the height, so that took advantage, advantage of the larger parcel. But um, if it would have been down on the ground, if you just need to build a stage, you could probably do that on a small or a medium parcel. I wouldn't have been able to put the gigantic um, billboard screens up there on a smaller parcel. But uh, that's okay, you would be able to do a version of it. Uh, on the other hand, building it on a large parcel, there's room for it to expand, maybe even optimize and then put another building next to it. Because you could like take down one of the screens and then drag everything over to the left and have some space open. So who knows? But I'm calling this build done like 15 minutes earlier and uh, <laughs> 100 parcel credits shy of being uh, peaked there. But I'm liking it. The only other details I'm thinking that would make sense would be some cross beams going across um, from here to there. I'm not sure if that would make things look odd though. 
Let me try it out. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's do it on the other side too. All right, time to click save and upload. Take some screenshots. Oh, what parcel was this? 3250, huh? I have to check it out on web also. By the way, I've been drinking black coffee all morning because I ran out of creamer earlier. Nothing wakes you up like uh, unsweetened coffee. Okay, now for some screenshots. So the best way to take screenshots is actually to go into Somnium in the VR client, the desktop client, and um, Take screenshots in photo mode. This wasn't 3250. I was way off. This wasn't 3250. I'll have to remember what this parcel was. Um, so the, the in-game photo mode actually has filters and all kinds of cool things that you can use. Um, but uh, the builder actually looks pretty awesome also, except for you can see things like the, um, you know, the light entities, and uh, it doesn't have all the cool filters. Uh, but th the editor is pretty awesome for an editor. It's the only editor I know of that has uh, real-time lighting in it. See how you can actually see the sun crawling across it? That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple screenshots here, and I'm going to send it out in a tweet. Um, then I'm going to figure out what parcel number this is so I can check it out in web. I know where it is in desktop. I, I could walk over here from city center. But, um, yeah, I want to check it out in web too. Anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in. Once again, I'm SM Sith Lord. Every week right here at twitch.tv slash Somnium Space, I am doing a two-hour build. Sometimes I complete the build within the two hours. Sometimes it spans more and I have to continue the build the following week. This is one that I got done in two hours. Rando awesome stage. Hopefully some events going down on here soon with some new images that'll go along with the event when it goes down. I will see you all next week right here. Um, also on this Twitch channel, there are other things going down and I believe something else happens today. Perhaps once I sign off here, <laughs> you know, uh, when the next uh, hour rolls around. Um, and there's also another build stream to check out this weekend. 
I used the builder, which is easy mode with where you're just playing with shapes and stuff like that, all right here. Um, there's another build, uh, create, creative stream where the person is going to go into using Unity and Blender and making some really fantastic looking stuff with those, with that method. And both of those are ways to build things in Somnium Space. So, until next time, I'm SM Sith Lord signing off. Peace out.